Hello everyone, welcome to part three of our coffee series here on Self-Serving Skillet. Today, I'm gonna to make you some espresso drinks with a little stovetop espresso. So instead of weighing out my beans like I did last time, which I highly recommend, I just filled this entire chamber up with beans and ground them all up to a pretty fine setting. You don't need to go espresso fine because we're spending more time extracting than with a pull of espresso, but you still want it reasonably fine. This Bealetta Milka Pot has three chambers. The water chamber, the grounds chamber, and then what will eventually be the espresso chamber. And I'm just gonna fill my grounds chamber all the way up to what looks like over full. And then I'm gonna take my cold press receptacle and just like you would with a cup of flour, and level that off. And that's all you have to do. No tamping, no pushing down. I'm gonna make sure that this edge is clean. We are going to fill this water chamber up to this pressure release valve on the outside. This guy goes in. And then you always wanna make sure that your seal is free of debris. After every time you use it, just take a plastic brush and kind of get those grounds out. I used to sit here with a paring knife and pick everyone out. It's really too much effort. And very important, you never want to wrench on this handle. You always want to handle the pot itself so you don't break the handle. I'm gonna put the rest of my grounds in here for cold press. And let's set that right here in the sun. Make that just like sun tea. And then this goes right on the burner. First, I'm gonna make sure that this is centered over my burner. I have an octagon right here and I have eight little tines sticking out so that makes it very easy to center my maca pot. I'm also going to get some milk going because we're gonna make some steamed and frothed milk espresso drinks. And I'm only really looking for about a cup or 250 milliliters. And I want medium heat for this guy. And low heat for this guy. Now milk will break and become burnt tasting after about 150 degrees Fahrenheit or 65 degrees Celsius. So I very much recommend getting yourself a thermometer. The Bealetti Maca Pot for me has been a lot of trial and error. When I bought this, I actually thought that I was purchasing a stovetop percolator. So when I talked to Andrea from Spella Cafe about how to best use his Rosalina Espresso, Bealetti Maca Pot was top of the list. And he gave me a few more pointers from what I was doing. And one was to leave the lid open until the espresso starts to come out and has reached about the bottom of the spout. At that point, we can close it and kill our heat. Our milk is almost ready to come off and I want to address our bubbles. We could use a whisk, we could use a blender. Uh, none of those are going to be as efficient as a French press. And to do this correctly, you want to clean your French press. Uh, they have a tendency to taste like old coffee if you don't properly take them apart, uh, use a brush to kind of get into that mesh. Thank you. 
I'm not gonna put this all in here, maybe just about a quarter of the way up. And we'll reserve the rest. Very carefully, take the plunger down to here and we're just going to froth a little. And 20 or so seconds is all that you need. You see we have our espresso coming up. I'm going to half my heat. And now I'm about to the bottom of the pour spout. So I'm going to close my lid, kill my heat, and I'll see you over here for espresso drinks. Beautiful. Let's taste it. It has such a nice round mouth feel. You really get a sense of like the bittersweet chocolate, that lemon hard candy that I was talking about in coffee part two is so, so subtle. You can definitely tell that this Rosalina espresso was made for an espresso machine, but the Bialetti Maca Pot does a wonderful job. So let's get into some espresso drinks. First off, let's pour a shot of espresso into this bowl. And we are just going to top it with a little bit of foam. And that, my friends, is a macchiato. The cousin to the macchiato, shot of espresso, which is about 30 milliliters or an ounce. And we're just going to go with our steamed milk. Cortado. Macchiato, cortado. Let's move up the ladder to the latte. And we're still going for a shot of espresso. And now we want mostly steamed milk, but with some foam on top. And for this next one, I'm actually going to make myself a little more foam. Shot of espresso. And we're going about half steamed milk, half foam. And I see them using a spoon all the time for this. And since I am no expert, I'm gonna do the same. And there, instead of something impressive, I've made a construction site or a black hole or something. So there you go, stovetop espresso and a couple different ways to use it. Or you could start your day like an adult with a little chocolate ice cream. Pour a shot of espresso over your ice cream and you have yourself an affogato. That's amazing. You know, affogato is traditionally done with gelato, but you're not gonna go wrong with a well-made ice cream. Try to stick to a single flavor. The classics, strawberry, vanilla, maybe a salted caramel.
Mm. And that has everything I want. There's so much balance. You have the sweet and the bitter. You have the hot and the cold. Definitely not an all the time thing, but uh, it's a right now thing. Mm. Guys, all of the coffees that I've used over the past three episodes come from Spella Cafe in Portland, Oregon. New York Times says it is the best espresso in Portland and I can see why. Uh, my friend Andrea Spella sent me a couple different bags of coffee after seeing me use the Bialetta Maca Pot on the show. So if you'd like to support Andrea's work, go to spellacafe.com. He does encourage everyone to support their local roaster, but in lieu of a local roaster that you love, check him out. He has a whole bunch of different ordering options and all of the coffees are shipped very soon after they're roasted, so you are always getting the best cup of coffee. Thank you, Andrea. Thank you, everyone who supports the channel. I'll see you next week here on Self-Serving Skillet.